Hope you enjoyed the you. <laughs>
up underneath the brow. For some reason, I really like to start with my under the brow done. I just feel like it builds up better from there. Not sure why. <sighs> okay, we got a little fallout. Eh, okay, okay, a little fallout. I like their transition colors. These kind of have some sparkle, but the transition colors are matte. I really like that. I'll actually probably use this transition color here for the outer VC. Um, these do have a lot of fallout, so if you have a sensitive eye, then you want to be careful. This color is a number, so this number one is really pretty. To me, this transition color could almost be used on kind of all over. It's just a really pretty color. They do have some nice greens. I've I don't, Ever since fall came, I keep gravitating towards the greens. Wow, that came out dark. I was not expecting this much pigmentation. Go wet and wild. There's a lady that I see on a beauty page on Facebook that uses these a lot, and that's why I wanted to try them. Now I see why she likes them. I take a fluffy brush and kind of buff that out. I'm actually gonna maybe pick up some more of that transition color to buff that out. Again, I was tilting my head back to see if I had any patchiness to fix. Ever since I was a little kid, I love definition, and I think that's why I love these half cut crease looks. <laughs> I like definition. I think that's why I like lip liner and eyeliner. I'm an adult still lining things before I cover, color it in, like kindergarten. I think I'm going to go with this nice color right here. Although these, that blue and brown combo, whew, that's pretty. Okay, next I'm going to pick up this rosy color here. When I mention, don't forget to tap your brush, I keep forgetting and I keep getting it in my eye. Now my eyes are starting to water. So do be careful of that. I'm going to pick up this transition color here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Not yet, but that's okay. We can go backwards, right? Now I want to pick up this rosy color again. I actually wanted it a little smoked out. All right, picking up a defined crease brush. I want to pick up this transition color. Okay, note to self, really make sure you get rid of the fallout. My eyes are burning like heck. All right, we're going to put on this waterproof. It's a gel waterproof liner from Mosquito because I'm going to need some waterproof today, y'all. Okay, we're going in with the lashes. I'm going to pick up this highlighter here, Magic, from Kat Von D's palette. And this palette is the Fetish palette. Believe it or not, it's kind of a subtle highlight, which is nice. Okay, I finished my eyelashes. I'm not doing any false ones today. Just I'm just not feeling the false ones. Especially since my eye is irritated because of the eyeshadow fallout. My own problem. Saw that it was having fallout. Still didn't tap enough. But yeah, this is the first eye look created. I'm not sure if I'm going to create more eye looks because of it irritating my eyes or because of the fallout. So we'll see. But this could be one of three or this could just be one of one. We'll see. So yeah, what's your thoughts? Thank you so much for watching this video using the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. Hope this helps you with your buying power. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. As always, you have a choice. Make it a great one. Until next time.